Aidan, nice to, to get back out there, get the gloves on and, and, and just play first team football again, I imagine. Yeah, you know, it's it's just I'm just glad to be back out there. Um and when I can help the team, whether that's off the pitch or on the pitch, you know, that's something that I pride myself upon. Uh, that f- that first goal when you made the save that you did in the build up to it and then you see it trickle in that, deep down that must have got to you a little bit yeah it's always annoying when when you make a, a good save and then you know a couple of seconds later it ends in the, up in the back of the net but I thought the boys reacted brilliantly to that um, you know we could have gone hiding but we didn't we got our chests out and started to play really good football because I suppose in situations like that it becomes a test of character doesn't it how well you can get back into the game after a disappointment yeah you know I think I think it's a great bunch of lads in there. I know I've said it before and a lot of the lads have said it, but that's testament to the boys out there. Um, like I said, we could have gone hiding, but we didn't. We stuck our chests out and, and played some really good football. Talk to us a bit about Ben Garrity. What's it like to play in a team with him and from the people who don't see him apart from on a match day, what what is he like around the place? Is he as, is he as nice as everybody seems to think he is? He's a great lad, Ben. <laughs> um, you know, scarce, but hey, well... <laughs> we won't talk about that. Um, but no, he's a great great character, great lad. Um, and you can see just through the amount of running he does on a Saturday or a Tuesday night, it's, it's, just, it's a beyond a joke. Um, and I think that helps a lot of the lads out as well, uh, you know, when he's breaking lines, getting forward. So, no, he's a great lad. When you're a defensive player, as you are, to know you've got a player on your side who can get 10 goals for you in a season from midfield, does that give you a lot of confidence? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's not just Ben either, you know, there's other lads chipping in with goals as well and I think that's important, you know, it's, it's alright saying that strikers need to score goals, score goals, but when you can get goals from elsewhere as well, it's always always good. Uh, what was the dressing room like at, at the end of that when you came in there? Because you, you got the game sorted out relatively early on with about half an hour to go, so w- was it? what was the atmosphere like when you got in there? It's a great atmosphere, honestly, it's a great atmosphere, especially coming away with a 4-1 win off the back of last week's disappointment. Um, but yeah, everybody's buzzing and we look forward to the next game on Tuesday now. I know the squad's uh, always said that it's a team game, but not every goalkeeper can play. Only one of you can ever mm. play. So when you were left out earlier on in this season, yeah. how did you mentally deal with that? And then how do you respond to that as a goalkeeper being left out when you've had your chance? It's a position that I found myself in before. Um, for me personally, I just go about my own business and just keep working hard because you never know when the opportunity will come. Um, if you're not working hard, then you might go into a game rusty. Uh, so for me, it was just about getting the sessions in, training sessions in, doing extras when I needed to do extras. Um, but like I said before, I'm just happy to play. A lot of people think that we haven't seen the best of you yet because you haven't had a run in the team. Are you hopeful that that could now happen? I just take every game as it comes, whether that be... I'm not playing Tuesday or whether I am I just take every game as it comes there's no point looking forward um, to future games because you never know what will happen so I just take every every game as it comes When you get picked again though like today it, it, was there a real sense of not needing to prove yourself but you know that you needed to try and show people exactly why you should be the first choice Yeah I mean you know it's, it's always a difficult position to be in um, regardless of whether you're starting or, or not Um but I just went out there and, and just showed my own game. Um, played with, I felt like I played with confidence. Um, and yeah, that was, that was it really. If you do play Tuesday, of course, it'll be against y- your former club. Does that add a- anything extra to you? Yeah, it's extra motivation. Um, obviously, it's, it's going to be a tough game on Tuesday, as every game is. But yeah, like, like you've just said, it, it does add that extra bit of motivation. When you look at the league table, and I know the players don't look at the league table, but when supporters and the media look at the league table, they'll see you still in that chasing pack. Tell us about the motivation of this squad and when, when you know that you're not quite there yet and you've still got a bit to go. How are you all feeling? I think the mentality is just taking game by game. Um, there's no point, like I said before, for myself personally, looking forward to each game. You know, It's just taking game by game. Get, and just do what we need to do, get three points and then move on and then see where we end up. Cheers. Thank you, Aidan. You know about your former club as well, won't you? So you'll know a lot about the opposition who are coming on Tuesday and they are in a rich round of form despite the fact they had a setback yeah. in midweek. Yeah, I mean, you know, the last game we, we played against them, I think since then they've picked up like 14 wins in so many games. So they're obviously on a really good run. Um, we'll do all, all of our research on them and and what we can do to hurt them and how they might hurt us and it's just going about business again. Just about building another run though, isn't it? You've just come out of a, a run, you need to do it again and you, a good starting point today. Yeah, definitely. I think you know the three points a day can, can help us massively kick on um, and go on a nice run. Uh, obviously, that's what 
what we all want, what the club want. So hopefully that, that kick starts a run now.